space in your heart that before you take the first step in the journey of your life, your battle has already been won. You see, I believe that somebody in here today needs to know that your child already has their degree. Your bills have already been paid. Your husband or your wife is returning home. Your test is negative, no matter what the doctors have said. You are no longer an addict. The check you need is already in the bank. And before you take another step, your joy is waiting in the morning. I need somebody to understand that you are not just an ordinary vessel, but an extraordinary vessel to God. And he has an unusual plan waiting for you. You see, Joshua 6 is a test of our obedience. It's not just a test to see who's strongest, who's fastest, who's the best for the job. But God wants to know, are you ready to follow his plan? You see, God already told you your promise. He told you what was on the way. But he wants to see if you are willing to follow his plan. Are you willing to follow his instructions to a T? You see, God's directions are simple. He only asks the Israelites to walk. You see, the call on your life has not changed since the day you accepted Christ, which for some of you might just be today. When you accepted Christ into your life, all he asked you to do was to take his hand. He asked you to trust him and walk with him every step of the way. You see, the text says, encompass the city once. This shalt thou do six days. God asked for just one leg around the city for six days. And I couldn't help but wonder as I studied this week if there would be anybody in the house on today who was willing to do just one lap for Christ. Is there anybody in the house who would be willing to run on just a little longer and do one lap for Christ when you know that your victory is on the other side of the track? You see you're on the right track already. And don't you dare give up. I know that you may say, I have asthma, and I feel a little bit out of shape. But can you trust God? Can you trust God to do just one lap a day? Will you open your Bibles in the morning and read one scripture a day? Will you fall on your face and pray for just one hour a day? God is asking you to trust him. Know that God will never, ever, ever send you into battle unequipped. To take